Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to start up Dreamweaver CS5 when you just download it. Right now I'm on Adobe's new CS5 Master Collection website and this is where you would go to download the trials. Um, just go to try. Um, just go to adobe.com slash products slash creative suite slash master collection um, or just go to adobe.com and it's on their very first page um, and right here's the master collection you can download Dreamweaver itself alone if you want to but I just prefer the master collection and just pick your operating system and your language and select download now or you can order the trial DVDs. I already have Dreamweaver CS5 installed so I'll just open it up and I'm going to start a brand new site and this is what you'll do as soon as you get it so let me zoom in here okay now first thing you do is you can name the site so I'm gonna name mine sample because I already have a real site and right here will be the actual folder you take it to so you can select here and just put it on the desktop or wherever you want it. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Um, you can hit servers and this is where you're going to put whatever hosting company um, gives you the server name and um, to upload stuff to your server so you'd need the address of it. Um, but for this I'll just put test server connect using FTP FTP address this is usually the name of your website so sample dot com just for an example and you can put your username and password here so it can automatically log in and configure and synchronize all your files together so I'll just put sample and sample and it automatically saves it you can hit test but I'm not going to because of course this isn't going to work um, your root directory is usually something like HTTP uh, underscore and public and that will usually take you to the main folder more options um, slides down. Uh, this stuff is not usually required. It's for mostly advanced settings or you know if you have to do something extra that's not usually required in normal setup. Um, you can go to advanced but basic is enough for many people. Um, version control. Well, I'll hit save and you see now it's set up for the remote connection and you can also set it for testing you can add as many servers as you want name them whatever you want for all your different addresses version control you don't have to do anything here and advanced settings you really don't have anything to do here either so from here you can just hit save and it's telling me I already have one of my websites it may not work incorrectly I'm going to wind up deleting this because it's a sample anyway after the tutorial this will not appear on yours at all so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK and it'll update the cache hey guys we've now finished indexing the website and I've switched over to the code view um, now for your, to create the first page this is from another it's from my other website but to create the first page just come to your site right and right click on the actual site and hit new file and name this index with a lowercase i and double click to open I'm going to get a split view design and this is now your index. This is the first page everyone will see when they come to your website. So you can just name it whatever you want. Um, my website, for example. And you'll see here under title, it's been uh, 
change to my website. You can also go to page properties, background color, and say you wanted it blue, you just pick a random blue, hit apply, and your page is now blue. Um, also you can view this in live view where this will actually show you what it would look like on the web. Of course this isn't going to have anything, it's just a standard blue color, bluish purple. But um, it also adds the code here automatically. But uh, this was just showing you how to set up to uh, Dreamweaver to get to your new website. Um, there will be many more tutorials telling you how to set up your perfect index page or any style page you want, how to add CSS, uh, how to add tables, and a lot more. Um, so if you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like a website developed or um, just have any questions about it, my email will appear on the screen. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.